can't believe Shocker's loose again. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I don't okay. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move! You know what, Herman? You have, like, zero personality. But your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen, that mask, it's, it could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, 
That went about as well as I could have hoped. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. No, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. 
Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon, uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. Shouldn't have asked. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. Thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any fist properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. The troll reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. And if they set one toe inside the vault, I'll have your head. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup, but that don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check, Eagle Two, you up? Eagle Two reporting in, eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. <sighs> I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. 
I've been working on electric webbing. This is the perfect field test. Sit tight. Electric web for the win. A gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kind of anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. I got a big fat nothing. Where there's one secret room, there could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. There! They blew the locks to get in! Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you, and they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay, hop in. 
She's good. Huh. Looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work.